Well, hi, Jeremy. First up, congratulations on your new film, and thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk to me. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you, Francisco. Nice to meet you. So uh, we, we live in a time when uh, the demand for murder mystery films and shows has gone up, especially with now with streaming. Uh, projects like Knives Out, Only Murders in the Building, The White Lotus, etc. So I wanted to ask you, why do you think audience are so interested and obsessed with murder mysteries and who done it? Well, I think it's a, a little bit of a, a, it's a little bit interactive when you're in the mystery uh, genre. It's like you're participating in a game um, and you're, you know, you go down one path and you're going along with your main characters, but you go down one path and you're like, oh, you think you're smart. And then that gets shut down. And then it's like, oh, wait, is it this? Um, so I think it's that participatory uh, nature. I, I may have just made that word up. So uh, just <laughs> let me know at some point. Um, Sounds but good just, to me. <laughs> just joining in and like participating in the game of, of trying to figure out the, the whodunit. I think it's, it's just fun. Yeah, I think it's definitely, that's one of the aspects. So uh, one, of, one of the things I really enjoyed about this sequel is that it's more action heavy compared to the first one. There's some really cool action uh, beats in this one. Uh, so I wanted to ask you, was that always part of the plan since the beginning to try to improve upon that, uh, what the first one did? And where did the inspiration for these sequences uh, come from in regards to the style and the way of shooting them? So I, um, I didn't do the, I wasn't involved with the first one. And I, when I was approached to do this, uh, the second movie, I, I'm a huge action guy. I love action. And I haven't really had the opportunity to kind of flex my action muscles. And um, I really wanted to put a lot of action into this, into this script. Um, and it also felt like I wanted to, this movie to be a standalone movie that you can watch, even if you haven't seen the first one, you can enjoy this movie. Um, we definitely paid homage to uh, to the first one, um, and there are some callbacks from the first one, some characters who are incredible. Um, but really, I wanted I, I set out to do something that is is standalone, and um, rather than depending on the first one to to kind of be a launching point for this one. And I think you did a great job with that. I mean, there's some memorable, like I said, action pieces that I think fans are, are going to have a great time with. Uh, before wrapping up, uh, I want to ask you, how, how much, how fun was it to have the likes of Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston as instruments to fulfill your vision for this sequel? I mean, and perhaps do you, ha do you have like a, a favorite movie or a performance of, of each one of their careers also? Yeah, so um, without question, Billy Madison is my favorite Adam Sandler movie. I wrote a... Uh, a thesis paper at university uh, on Billy Madison. Um, wow. And, uh, and for Jennifer Aniston, I'm going to have to say the breakup uh, because I worked on it and wrote it. Uh, so, and she was just so incredible in that movie. Those are my uh, two favorite characters, but there are many favorite characters that they've, they've played. Um, and to put them together as Audrey and Nick Spitz, um, they're a great couple. Definitely, yeah. Uh, and those are great picks, by the way. Uh, my wife and I adore the breakup. It's, it's hilarious, hilarious. So, oh, uh, Jeremy, you. again, thank you for your time. I appreciate it, and congratulations on your new film, sir. Thank Take you care, so much. Saludos from Puerto Salud. Rico. Saludos. Great Take to care. hope to see you soon in Puerto Rico. Yes. Murder Mystery 3 in Puerto Rico. I like it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Take care, sir.